than three weeks until Election Day. Voting is already underway across the state, of course. Today, Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson stopped by the Pistons practice facility as volunteers called on Detroiters to get out and vote. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel also took to social media to spread the word that absentee voting is so easy even a Buckeye could do it. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast joins us live downtown with what you need to know before voting from home. Brett, let's start with uh, how many Michigan residents plan to vote absentee this election. Hey, Carolyn, we know that so far nearly 3 million Michiganders have already requested an absentee ballot and more than 1 million have already voted. Oh, you're going to vote on election day. That's, that's great. As volunteers in Detroit called around to help register potential voters, the Secretary of State says there's already been strong turnout. We are on track to, to break records in turnout, and we've already broken records in terms of the number of people voting early. But there are steps every voter needs to take to make sure your vote is counted. First step if voting absentee is voting on time. We've seen patterns of people uh, mailing their ballots prior to election day, but being received after. So for that, we have worked to, to establish drop boxes all across the state. The city of Detroit has more than 20 satellite voting centers and 30 ballot drop boxes. It's recommended that after October 20th, voters use these instead of the mail. Even though two weeks may be enough time to get a ballot back, we don't want to risk that. Another important piece, the signature. These must match your voting records and clerks will check that as soon as your ballot arrives. The recent legislation the governor signed into law requiring clerks to follow up with voters if there's a missing or a mismatched signature is critical at addressing that piece. Other common issues happen when people don't return the envelope in the sleeve. Also remember not to vote twice in the same race and use blue or black ink to fully fill in the box. So again, we've put a lot of pieces in place to minimize ballot rejections, but as you know, in Michigan and across the country, that's an ongoing issue that we have to continually be vigilant about. Now, Benson expects about two thirds of voters in this election will be voting absentee. And again, if you don't get that ballot in the mail by October 20th, it's suggested that you come by a ballot drop box like this right here and drop off your ballot. Reporting here in Detroit, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. Brett, thank you for the live report. Be sure to visit WXYZ.com slash vote 2020 for our resource guide with everything else you need to know before voting by mail or in person.